guys for in here bringing another video today and as always hope you're all having a good day so far and thank you for stopping by so t today I want to tell you about a time that I was so damn scared and I thought I was screwed and I would never see the light of day again I thought I was gonna be grounded for the rest of my life but I got out of it but I'll tell you the story and I'll tell you how I got out of it afterwards so basically when I was 15 literally like two months away from getting my license I lived with my aunt and uncle. Me and my brother lived with my aunt and uncle. They had two kids, which were my cousins, and my cousin Tony, he's the oldest one, and then my cousin Janie, she was his, obviously his his brother. Well, when my cousin Tony got a, his license, he got a white Toyota Camry. And then a year later, my cousin Janie got her license, and she got the Camry. My cousin got a, he was driving an excursion or some shit. And sure enough, when I turned 16, that camera was going to be mine. So they bought my cousin her own car, and that car was waiting for me. It was just parked in the driveway for the longest time waiting. Well, around this time, like I said, two months before my birthday, before I turned 16, my aunt was on a trip. She went to go hang out with her friends up at Big Bear or something, and she's going to be gone for a couple days. And my uncle, he would go out on the weekends to the casinos, and he wouldn't come back till like, 3 a.m. or 4 a.m. So my cousins and my two cousins, they go, they would go out partying. I was too young, so I was home alone. I had a friend. She she lived across the street and down a couple houses. She was on, like a, on the corner house of the street, and we'd hang out every single day. I had the biggest crush on her for the longest time, and yeah. So she, they came over and said, hey, let's take the car out for a little joyride and my first response was like hell no I don't want to get in trouble I don't want to get grounded blah 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 I'm a pussy but yeah 15 years old and what I thought was in love she asked me again and I could not resist I said okay let's do it let's have some fun so I went and I got the keys and I was like super smart I looked at how the key was placed just in case they looked so I could put it back the same way took a picture of it with my phone Went out to the car, looked at where all the tires lined up, matched them, took pictures so I could match them perfectly so they didn't know the car was taken out. And yeah, so even though I did all that, I I, fuck, I messed up, man. I, I screwed up. We took the car out. We were having fun. 30 minutes later, after we took the car, I realized that the gas light had came on. I never checked to see how much gas we had. So I was like, guys, we got to go. The car is almost out of gas. I don't want to to break down in the middle of nowhere and have to call my uncle and say, hey, I took the car, can you come get me? We're out of gas. So we headed home, we're all bummed out. I parked the car, it took me a while to get it to be parked the way it was, or close to the way it was, and then that was it. And then we we're getting ready to leave and go hang out at the park, and my friend said, hey, I have 10 bucks, we can go put it into gas and we can continue this adventure. And at this time, it was only around like 11 at night, so I had a good couple hours until my uncle was going to be home. But I still said no. I was like, no, I don't want to get in trouble. Let's just, we took it out. Something happened. It's, it's a sign saying we shouldn't be in this car. They said, no, 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 no. Your uncle won't be home until like 3 or 4. Come on. He's out there all the time. And I was like, fine, we'll do it. So we went, took the car, got the gas, and then we were heading to go... I forget where we were going, but where we were going was by the park that we normally hung out at. And something happened to where it literally made me feel like my heart was exploding. Like it was gonna explode. I was gonna die. I wanted to cry because I was so scared. <clears throat> my uncle called. I was like, oh my god, what does he want? So I parked the car, turned the car off, told my friends to be quiet, don't say anything, and I answered the phone, right? He starts yelling. Where the hell is my car? Where's the car? All this crazy stuff. I'm like, hey, I don't know. Like, I'm at the park with my friends. I, I have, when I left, the car was there. And that's it. I don't know where the car's at. So he said, you need to get your ass back home so we can find this car. And I said, okay. And I hung up. And I was like, I told my friends, like, dude, I'm in so much trouble. My uncle's home. They're like, what? He's home? I was like, yeah, he's asking where the car is, blah, 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 this and that. And... I, I wanted to cry and they were in the car I parked I, I drove the car and parked it in some random house like two blocks down and I my uncle used to stash some stuff in the trunk that were valuable and people would, would want so I opened the trunk 
threw everything out of the car, made it look like they were trying to find it, and made it look like the car was broken into it, and then I threw the, the keys into the gutter, and we started walking. <clears throat> we walked really slow, so it seemed like we had to walk from the park, because this house was closer to my house than it was from the park, so we walked real slow, and I got there, I was like, hey, and I said bye to my friends, they went home, and then he's like, where's the car? I was like, I don't know, I just came from the park. Like I said, when I left, the car was gone, or it was there, and when now it's gone, I don't know where it is, and a, a bunch of words were exchanged, and then I went to my room, and then about two hours later, he calls me and says, hey, we found the car, can you come here real quick? So I went to the house, and he said, so you don't know who took the car? And I was like, no, and he's like, okay, well, let's go to this guy's house real quick, and I didn't know at the time, but... I parked the car in front of the house that had neighborhood watch and he had a like camera set up and <laughs> so we went in the guy's house and we we're watching the videotape of the guy going through the car and I didn't get in trouble because I was wearing shorts I wore dicky shorts back then and on the video it looked like the guy was wearing pants I was wearing a red shirt so it was supposed to be a dark shirt in the camera and the guy was wearing a white shirt in the in the video so luckily for me the guy's camera system was well like too old it was never upgraded so you couldn't really tell and he was like dude you're it's pretty funny he, he looks like you he's as tall as you he's as, he's as big as you but he's not wearing the same clothes and I was like yeah I don't know man I don't know who took the car so we got the car put it in the driveway so that's the time that I stole my own car and almost got in trouble for it but I got out of it till this day like the only person who knows the truth is my dad and now you guys but my dad I told my dad the story and he was like dude come on I know you took that damn car you don't gotta lie to me and I held the story for the longest time I just never wanted it to get out to my uncle but I don't even live with him no more I don't even talk to him so hey Uncle Tony if you're watching I took that damn car but yeah so if you guys enjoyed this video please hit that like button and subscribe I'd really appreciate it and I'll see you next time peace